Hi, CJ here. Relationships can be challenging at times and nurturing and maintaining healthy relationships is a serious business. So how do you choose the one? Whether it is a love relationship, a platonic relationship, or a professional relationship. In today's edition of Life Notes, how do you know when you've found the one? Many of us spend a great deal of time uh, dreaming about happily ever after. And when asked, we have a clear picture of what we would like Prince Charming or our Cinderella to be like. For others, it might be a platonic, professional, or even family relationship. Whatever the relationship, many of us still end up confused about if we have found the one. In the beginning, there might be a certain level of compatibility, but how do you really know? Now, there is a lot of great advice out there about how to know when you have found the one. But what I want to focus on is how about being the one? I believe we should never require from another what we aren't already ourselves. Sometimes success in a relationship comes when we stop looking for somebody to complete us, when we stop looking for somebody to complete you and you focus on being complete so that you can embrace the one that complements your completion. Do you know what it means to be a good friend to yourself? If you cannot be true to yourself, how can you be true to someone else? How comfortable and committed are you with taking care of yourself to the best of your ability, no matter what? Are you someone you can look up to? It can be extremely uncomfortable sharing our inner selves with the world. Some of us are shy and prefer not to be the center of attention, and that's okay. But knowing who you are allows you to stand behind your core values without being offended when others attack. Uh, That is what being a role model is all about, being strong no matter what. If you can be that shining role model that did the right thing in tough times, what what would the right kind of people say? Are you attracting the right kind of attention? The world has its fair share of difficult, dysfunctional, toxic people. I'm sure we all know at least one person that just might be like that. However, we attract what we are. If you're afraid of rejection, you might let people walk all over you. If you're not happy with your life or who you are, if you don't think you deserve better, you might settle for less than you deserve. If you think it's too difficult to make your dreams come true, you might never reach your destination. If you're not willing to learn from your mistakes, you might keep doing the same things over and over again, expecting a different result. How do you know when you've found the one? You know when you've found the one when you become the one. You, you must first be the friend you've always wanted, be someone you can look up to, and attract the right kind of attention by developing emotions, feelings, and thoughts that actually align with your desires. I've got three questions for you. Are you someone others can look up to? Are you attracting the right kind of attention? Are you the one someone is looking for? Remember, uh, sow a thought, reap an act. Uh, Sow an act, reap a habit. Uh, Sow a habit, reap a character. Sow a character, reap a destiny. I leave you with the words of Stendhal, and I quote, One can acquire everything in solitude except 